Hans, Nancy from Happily Ever After, etc. And we are out with a garden project. <laughs> so you might remember that last year I planted this stock tank garden with my trellises as my vegetable garden. I planted cucumbers, watermelon, and strawberries. I will link, 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 will link to that video from last year. But we are out here for video two, year two, stock tank garden year two. I'm so excited. <laughs> and we are doing very similar on planting, but I figured I would pop out here because I have changed things just a little bit and I wanted to tell you about that. But also, I don't know, I just find it fun to kind of watch things as they progress. In order to watch things as they progress, you need to see them from the beginning. So here we are at the beginning. Um, you might have seen a couple days ago when I was planting all my annuals for the summer that this stock tank, my brother helped me drag it back to the woods and we completely dumped it. Now that is not necessary. I filled this up with four good bags of garden vegetable soil last year and this year I only plan to half empty it and refill it by half. But last year of course the one problem I had with this stock tank garden was ants and when I went to go through all of the dirt this year to see how it was and if I could start planting in it, I found what I'm calling little white mealy bugs. I'm really not sure what they were. They were little and white. They didn't look like maggots. They looked like some kind of white wiggly something. I didn't, I already fought ants out here all season last year. I'm definitely going to be fighting ants again because that's just how my yard is. Um, but did not want to fight, especially since this is where I'm planting my vegetables, did not want to fight whatever those white bugs were. So we just dumped the whole thing out, cleaned it, and my brother helped me fill it with so far two good bags of vegetable garden soil and a bag of compost. I have three quarters of a bag left that I actually got from my mom's house. So hopefully that will be enough to fill the rest of this, but if not, I'll top it off. So. Today we are going to plant it up. You will see that I have changed one main component. So we are still planting a cucumber right here. One cucumber this year. Last year we did two um, and two was fine, but it was, oh look at the little gecko. It was a lot. Two grew all the way up and onto the house, which I didn't mind, but I'm one person. It was way too many cucumbers for me to eat. And while I do plan to give some of these to friends and family, it was just too much. So we're doing one cucumber plant this year. We did two watermelon plants last year, but very, very late in the season, probably a month, month and a half after the cucumber plant. So this year we're actually going to try a seeds since it's the beginning of the season. These are the sugar baby watermelon, same ones I planted last year. And I did get one watermelon last year. Um, and so we're going to plant probably three or four of them down here and see how they do. It may, I mean, I may have to start these seeds inside. So planting them outside. This may once again be a failed watermelon here, but we're gonna try it. If it doesn't work, next year we will try it starting inside. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and get started. It is very windy. There's a lot of helicopters overhead, so I hope y'all can hear me. I guess if not, I'll do a voiceover. But the last thing I wanted to point out before I get started working is that instead of the strawberries all around here, you will notice I have English lavender. Now these plants get 10 to 11 inches tall, 10 to 11 inches wide. But when battling the ants, one of the things that I've read is that lavender helps repel ants. So I actually do have, you can see some bugs and bird killers, which are pellets. They say to sprinkle those around. The ants take them back to the hills and they die. And that is supposed to be safe for my vegetables and my animals. So you can have that. But instead of the strawberries, the strawberries were the main thing drawing the ants. We are going to try this English lavender down here should be pretty, it smells gorgeous, and it, it won't go too tall, so it shouldn't interfere with 
the growth of our two vining crops. The strawberries I am going to plant and hanging planters. I will do a whole different video on this. So let's actually get started. All right, so since these grow 10 to 12 inches tall and wide, I'm going to just put them around the perimeter. Roughly six inches in between them. Right. That will be perfect for our little plants right here. Yeah, nice roots. Every single annual plant I planted, I took it out of the container and the roots were just like, Bleh. no roots, just dirt. So, here's the helping. She's helping, bitty bitty. She's the best helper. trellises are not the best. I think I got them on Amazon. They are, as you can see, quite wobbly, but metal trellises, metal trellises are very expensive. These were decidedly not expensive. And while they're wobbly, they're fine. They, they held up just fine to the way they're cucumbers last year, so, you know, I'm not super worried about it. If you have the money, I'd get something a little better. Okay, so, this is my garden tome from last year, which is a fertilizer that I use for my vegetables, but... I let the mom go away and it has a huge hole in the bottom. So, I'm trying not to make a huge mess. Let's get a better bag for it. We're just going to put some in. Mix it all around. the special garden soil here. It's a question of whether you actually need the garden tone as well. I like it. Helps your plants grow big and strong. That's always good. was stronger, I would just pick this up and pour it in the middle, but I'm not. And that's okay. Make it work. So we've already put our lavender in here. This also lets me kind of hit it around the lavender really good.
hate my trash can being right here next to the vegetables, but this happens to be the best place for everything. Probably build us something around it eventually to hide it. But not hurting anything, it's just ugly. our roots to grow but the roots of the salus plants need to be packed in a little bit we'll water everything in and of course you watch me prep this area with the pea gravel and the stock tank last year you know that there are drainage holes in the bottom so gloves are already dirty this for a couple weeks already around my hummingbird feeders because the ants crawl up those hummingbird feeders so you know, as long as you be quiet it is working all right now we've got our cucumber and while you can plant any cucumber, I do like to use a smaller cucumber since they have to be able to support themselves on this trellis. So try to find a pickling cucumber that's smaller that still is sweet enough to eat if that's what you're looking for. Because I'm not really looking to pickle my cucumbers. I don't want pickles, I want cucumbers. Good success with this plant last year. And ate them in all kinds of salads. Should be a pretty happy little cucumber right here. Especially because you definitely get to that age where putting out tendrils. And I bet by tomorrow these tendrils will already be hooked on this trellis. By next week they'll be they'll be up here. Cucumber plants grow so fast when they're happy in the right solutions and it's got good dirt here and good water, good sun. It tends to be happy. Alright. I know, I'm annoying with my gloves. One problem I have in the garden, I hate dirty fingers, I hate dirty gloves. I also want to clean up with this open cabinet. I'll put a picture up on the screen. I left it open for like an afternoon. And, um, 
a bird made a nest in there and now has eggs. So hopefully we'll have baby birds. All right, so. Sugar baby watermelon. The back of the package does say you're doing everything properly, which of course we're nev we never are here, um, that you should start them inside or grow them on a hill. These are the proper ones that are small, personal sized kind of watermelons so that they can grow on a trellis. says it is an heirloom Boston pickling light full six hours spacing 36 to 48 apart container deep 55 days after planting we should have cucumbers so Obviously, I need to do more weeding, but this is a salvia, so I'm going to leave that one. 
other than that, we are done with the vegetable planner for today. Swap tank check. So hopefully in six to eight days, we will have a germination of some kind. Um, the cucumber will start to grow up and then it will not be beaten down so bad when I water it. I do have the whole thing pumped for um, drip. And so I will get a ring of drip to go into this. It's better to water at the roots. But in lieu of that, I do tend to just water it from the porch when I water my pots. So hope you guys liked this project. Hope you don't mind that I look like a crazy rat because regardless of how much I try to look presentable, as soon as I'm out here in the heat, I look like a hot rat. So at least you know I'm working. You're now going to go around and work on the winter boxes. So if you want to see more of this, come join us. Bye, y'all. Ready to go, buddy, buddy? Winter boxes are in the shade. Yeah.